Let's program the slot plate print in your packet. And this is going to use the slot block, only instead of a straight line slot, this is going to be an arc slot. Before we get started, we need to create a program. We're going to do that from the input screen. We're going to go to Program Manager, New, and create a new conversational program. Now I need to go out to the input screen again. We're going to go to Part Setup and set up some stock geometry. Part Setup, More, Stock Geometry. Answer yes that I want to manually size the stock. It's going to be a cylinder. The top of the stock will be zero and the body will run down in the negative Z direction for a length of 0.5 and the radius is going to be 4 inches. Now we go back to the input screen. We can set up some tools for this job. Tool review, tool setup. We already have a tool one which was a 3 quarter inch end mill with some speeds and feeds. That tool will be fine to cut this particular feature. So we go back to the input screen. We are now ready to write the program. We're going to select part programming milling. We want to hit the more tab to take us to the menu where slot is located. Select slot. Again on the start tab we have the shape of an arc for this particular slot. It is one inch in width. The X start coming from the very center of this round part is zero zero. We're going to go over 3 inches in X and Y will be 0. Put a Z start of 0.1 and let's go down 550 thousandths to just break through the half inch part. Using the tool 1 end mill that we chose earlier, that we saw earlier. And we're going to do an inside tangent. I'll go ahead and set up a peck depth and a plunge feed. Now we go to the geometry tab. It wants to know the X or Y end of this arc. I don't know that without trigging it, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the information that I do know in hopes that it'll be enough. The center point for this arc is zero, zero. You see that it already calculated the radius for me. The sweep angle is going to be 60 degrees, and that's going to be in the counterclockwise direction. The only thing left is the caps, and both have an appended arc on the end of this slot. Hit draw, and I do have one slot in location. Now I'm going to go to the review screen, and I want to pattern this slot. I'm going to insert a pattern, loop, rotate. There are three total features in this pattern. I want to include the original. It's going to rotate around the center point of X and Y, 0, 0. And I'm going to, the first will be done at 0 and I'm going to go at 120 degrees. Let's go to the end of the program and insert our pattern end block to close the pattern. So we're going to pattern in a loop rotate doing three different patterns of the mill slot and then we're ending here. So if I draw that now I get three slots equally spaced. Now I can insert the next block a simple milling circle. The center center. The center is also zero zero. A radius of 1.5 same depth as the other we used. We use the same end mill and this can be a pocket boundary. I'm going to pocket from the center outward. That's fine. My speeds and feeds are here. I'll put a peck depth and a plunge feed. Now if I go to draw this you can see that I do get the part as it's shown on the print. 